Well, there we go, Monique. Started off, you can see his bottom left canine is broken, like I said to you. So there we go. I was hoping he was going to do that. He's done one yawn for us, which is really good news. Well, here we go. Here's another yawn. Oh, I'm so tired. The rest of his teeth look like they're in good nick. Exhausted. Tough day out. At work, I suppose this is work for him, isn't it? So hopefully this is good news. Hopefully our patience is paying off. Now I apologize, you might hear some muffling of my hair. My hat keeps blowing off in the wind. So I just need to readjust everything. There we go, I've readjusted. Yes, you catch those flies. Now, it's cool, even in the last, since I last spoke to you, it's actually dropped the temperature quite a bit. I might have to put a jersey on myself. And Suko, of course, doesn't need a jersey. He's got a lovely thick mane, which acts like a scarf, I suppose, as well. My real my, my reason behind that, of course, is to protect his neck. Let's see. Yes, turn around. He's probably going to do a big stretch. I've always noticed, oh, did you hurt yourself when you took that buffalo down? Yes, he did. Look there, he's got a bit of blood underneath his his legs. I don't know if you notice. He's coming right behind. Wait, why do you have to come right next to the car? Senzel's favorite animal, literally walking inches away from him. I think he may have got a hook under his leg. So on the right side, I noticed a bit of blood. Yeah, so it's his right front leg that he's not too happy about. Oh, he's going to use the luxury facilities now. And that's actually quite a common injury to get a hook underneath or in the armpit, if you will. You can imagine when a lion does try to attack a buffalo, they are either going to jump on its back and one of them will risk their lives because that's what they do. The lions are putting, themselves, uh, well, they're putting their lives on the line every single time they go after buffalo. There we go. You see just in between there, you see there's a bit of, a bit of blood and I think that's what's happened. I think he just got a, a little bit of a horn, but he's fine. He's, yeah, he's got a limp. Don't get me wrong, it's there. But if push comes to shove, he'll be he'll be fine. He actually looks like he's loosening up a little bit now. That movement's getting better. So it's not a serious injury. You don't have to worry about him. I promise you he will be okay. But where's he going? Oh. <laughs> he's embarrassed. He's using the luxury facilities now behind a sickle bush. But let's go across to Tristan, who's also got a raptor. Well, and it's eating something. <laughs> 